Well, hey, 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 it's Concept Soup, and today I'm helping you out. So have you ever had your IQ go like this, where it's all glitched out? Um, you've got all your fans set up correctly on the software, but then it looks kind of janky, it might be flickering, might be going mental. Well, I've got a few methods to help solve the problem, um, and try these in the order that I present them in. So method one is going to be we're going to stop some of the Corsair services. This is usually a temporizing measure, and the error does normally come back after a while. Um, but it can get you done in the meantime. Um, just before I do that, did you actually know that the uh, Founders Edition 3080 you can actually control the colours in IQ? Uh, I didn't actually know that, so that was quite a fun little thing to find out. But anyway, let's get into it. So we're going to open um, Task Manager by pressing Control Shift Escape. You're going to find IQ and you're just going to end the task. You can also go to the bottom right and close IQ that way. Then you're going to go to the search bar and type in Services, press Enter. And that's going to bring up a heckin' great list of services that are running on the computer. And you just need to go down and find Corsair. Um, you should have maybe three or four down there. And you're just going to go to each one, right-click it, wait until it's finished stopping it, and then go on to the next one, stop it, until all the Corsair services have stopped. Um, and then what we're going to do is close down the services window. I'm just going to open up IQ again, and uh, that will sometimes be enough just to refresh it. But the error will probably end up coming back. But this is a nice way to get rid of it in the short term. Uh, next is going to be method two. Um, so if you've got six Corsair fans or maybe more in your system, you might have six all loaded onto the same uh, lighting node core. So obviously this is the core I have in my hands here and then the, the lighting node pro is the actual bit that plugs into the motherboard but it's got six ports but they're not very well made so if you actually plug in all six you do often get errors so if you can split it between two hubs that will fix it. Uh, method three um, this is only applicable if you use a USB hub to connect more than uh, two USB 2 devices to your board. So if you're going to use one of these, just make sure it's a powered one like the NZXT and not one of the cheap ones you can get on Amazon. Method four, and this is going to be really the the big one, okay? So this is going to be the one that actually might help the most. So um, this is the Corsair 465X um, as an example. Um, and this comes with a two SATA plugs, one for the lighting node core and then one for the Commander Pro, which is the big bit. They've each got their own power connector. So the key thing to do here is that your power supply is going to come with uh, multiple SATA leads. So we have a lead with a load of plugs on it. You want to use a separate lead for each one of those SATA plugs that is on your Corsair devices. So don't plug uh, both of those SATA plugs from your two Corsair devices into the same chain, you want to put them onto separate chains. This is because the Corsair hubs actually draw quite a lot more power than traditional SATA devices like hard drives, SSDs, that kind of thing. Um, so they're better off having their own power supply from their own dedicated SATA leads so they're not having to share that power with other devices. So hopefully one of those methods has helped and you've now got a gorgeous IQ system. Um, as you can see this one here that we did for Dean, really nice looking system. I do really like IQ, but if all of that failed, we do have another option. That's method five. That is rage quit by another brand like I did. So I just took all my Corsair fans out and just put some Lee and Lee Uni fans in there instead. Um, I think they look a bit nicer um, and the software just works without a hitch. So. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, do all the good stuff and goodbye.